was never married, but I was in like a nine-year relationship. Were you? Okay. He was with someone for nine years. How is he gonna be able to know that he's ready to be married now? He cheated. He flows with a plan. I float with no plan. You have a way of words, but I mean, at the end of the day, like, I don't know you. You might say one thing and your actions show another. On Married at First Sight, Thomas opened up to Camille about his last long-term relationship, which lasted for nine years. And Camille is feeling a bit worried. We, we kind of grew apart towards the end. Mm -hmm. I think I had things all figured out and thought I knew, I knew what I was doing and I really didn't. Was it like realistic expectations you had for yourself back then or was it just like you kind of needed more time to I needed, grow into who you were going to be? I did. I think she wanted to be married too and I wasn't sure about it. Yeah, no, that's real. It does make me a little worried in terms of his ability to really commit. That's something that's lacked in a lot of my past relationships. So it makes me wonder, if he was with someone for nine years, how is he going to be able to know that he's ready to be married now? Later, he admitted to her bridesmaids that he actually cheated on his ex. That was actually a really tough time for me. Uh, it's probably one of my lowest points, but I, I definitely put a lot of work in on myself. And following that, I did some therapy. I saw a therapist for like six months because I wanted to end the root of what my actions were because there's reasons people do things like that. You can't just chalk it up to, I made a mistake. I think you really got to examine that. And one of the key takeaways I took from it is you have to be open and honest and you have to communicate. Otherwise, you're not going to know what the other person's feeling. But his friends and family now think he's ready for marriage. Before, he wouldn't even really even talk about the subject. This is the most committed and focused I've ever seen on my anything. And like when he gets committed and focused on something, he, he's going to do it. OK. Is there something you see in Tom thus far in this short amount of time that makes you feel a little more confident in? I'm already starting to pick up on what you said about him when he's committed to something, being committed. And, and I think he's taking marriage seriously. And I don't think it's just going to be a phase for him. At least I hope not. <laughs> Camille's bridal party told her about Thomas cheating on his ex, but she didn't seem too bothered. He said after that, he did go through therapy. Yeah. Hmm. He wanted to figure out why he took that step. So, so he because had that of that, he felt, yeah, and it's been, he said, over five years ago. So he felt like with that time that he spent getting to understand why he did that, now is ready to be in a committed relationship. That kind of seems on par. I've heard across the board that he's the type, when he wants to commit to something, like he's all in. I mean, like, it, it makes everything else, like, more attractive as a whole package. Yeah. MM's cousin grilled Akechi and seems pretty wary about the whole getting married at first sight thing. I mean, he's a man. You know, I mean, what are your intentions and what are your motives? He sees that she's ambitious and she's established. If she's looking for somebody to take a ride with, I mean, he speaks on he has a house in Houston, but why did you leave Houston? Are you running from things? I mean, a, a number of different things run through my head. Just like, that's your husband. But then I'm like, that's a stranger. So this is all a big, like, question mark to me. It's going to take some time. You know, it's going to take some time for me to just open my hands and just like, all right, bro, you my bro. Yeah. You know, because um, I have to see how you're treating her. I get your concerns. I understand your concerns. I mean, everything is a question. But we're just going to make the best of it. Michelle and David officially tied the knot. By the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you a married couple. Yeah. David, you may now kiss your bride, Michelle. Villefort. <laughs> this is <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Michelle and David. He didn't shy away from saying that he smokes, and she was not too into that. I do have to say, I do socially smoke, though. Oh, like cigarettes? Yeah. Oh, God, that's gross. 
<laughs> I had to admit it to okay. you, though. So, but I was then, like, oh, goodness. That is something that I'm willing to stop, though. Okay. I just do it. Like, you, should, when, you should quit that for your own health. Yes, <laughs> yes, I should. I just want her to know off the bat, I am real. And, like, I ain't got nothing to hide. So uh, I'm just going to go with the vaping and then try to tear off, because I do not want that to be a factor. I'm not losing that beauty over some 16-pack of cigarettes. <laughs> She was feeling really overwhelmed at their reception and was not thrilled about the fact that he lives with his parents. How are you feeling at this moment? Yeah, I'm very overwhelmed. Nice and like everyone's staring at us right uh, now. A lot of pressure. Yeah, well, we're good looking. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? I I'm feeling happy. Yeah, can be, okay, like, good. Everything's fell in place. Oh, gosh, um, yeah. I know that may be a little too much for yeah. you right now, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm still very overwhelmed. I don't love how he lives with his parents. I, I am focused on that, but I'm going to try to not make that my only focus. I'm, I'm the only one putting pressure on myself right now, and so I just need to chill. <laughs> she ended up asking his parents about him living with them and their thoughts on the whole situation. So I'm curious as to, um, why do we think, like, why does Izzy living with you guys? Are you like, get out of here? Or no. are you embrace that? It's a temporary thing. He is ready to move on. Yeah. I, I think he's been there because we've needed him to do yeah. things okay. and he's always been supportive. Not that he doesn't adventure and do for his own. Right, yeah. It was just the caring and the love yeah. that we have. That, that's it. I mean, he's ready to just yeah. move on. Yeah. But we've never pushed that issue right. because our doors is always open for him. So, I mean, never yeah. will be closed. Totally. So. It shouldn't. <laughs> no, exactly. No. Yeah. Later, she ended up crying in the bathroom. No. So how do you know that? Don't. Oh, okay. What? Fixated on it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. And I, I'm like getting really hard on myself because. I'm not trying breathe. to ruin the moment. Breathe. Yeah. Just breathe. Yeah. Just breathe. Yeah. The, the day. So, where is my life? Break down. I'm not going to lie, though. The teaser at the end of the episode for the rest of the season makes it seem like this is going to be one wild ride. Your mommy doing all your, like, things for you? Like, that's not, that's a turnoff to me. Like, you act like I'm on a pole with no. my out or something. What's missing is the swag factor. I had a special day with David today. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot you were there. Back off a little bit. If you want your mother face, I'll give it to you. I'm shut the down. Do you see a world where we can last forever? Forever is a long time. What I need is to still feel like you want to take care of me. It's not gonna happen. I don't believe you. I think you're texting another girl. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Admit the truth. I've been texting you and calling you for two days. You haven't texted me or called You're me. You're lying. <laughs> clown, bring me a clown. You're going to get a circus. <laughs> her, <laughs> her and <laughs> you. Yeah, I just can't handle it right now. You just <laughs> lied to my face. The secret affair will come out. It's OK. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> The time has come for you to decide. Do you want to stay married or get a divorce? 